maybe if your eyes are still open or even if they're not, look around your room. Notice the dimensions of your room. My room is about 20 feet long. The ceiling's about 10 feet high. I can see outside the window. Really feel the place that you're in. Yeah, I mean, look at the objects in your room, presuming it's the place you've lived in. There are things, there's a, lot, a whole history of choices that you've made. And there's a kind of energy that the objects have. Notice if any changes are happening in your sense of yourself and your breath as you're doing that. And then bring your awareness back to the screen and, and you kind of lean in and look through these little windows at the different rooms that the different people are in. I'm noticing, for example, somebody here has a white background besides. And so what an interesting experience to just be able to project my imagination into what's there. And some folks have some really specific things inside. And I'm noticing how that affects me. So let yourself just play with looking around at the spaces within these rectangles in the screen. At this point, I'm explicitly, you'll notice having the people, the individuals here is kind of soft focus, but notice the sense of spaces. And notice if you can, whatever your capacity is to hold the kind of full spectrum bandwidth to surf, I'm inviting you to surf in your consciousness between different layers of what you're paying attention to, right? Including noticing how you're noticing and noticing the, to be more explicit, the miracle that we take for granted of these Zoom rooms in which our experience of what we call space is multidimensional, overlapping, kind of fractal. Each one is a whole living system of each of our particular lives. God willing, if we've been successful, is a holding environment for our best selves on a good day, right? And here we get to weave those together. I noticed like sort of an excitement projecting myself into different people's rooms, like, oh, like visiting. <laughs> I felt strangely that surprise that we're allowed to look at everybody's space and and notice things almost like uh have I been invited there to to see the color of Laura's wall it's a beautiful celadon color so it's like seeing these little miniature things and it's it's also like kind of like an art gallery like you're looking in everyone's space. It feels like a exhibit of some kind. I felt really safe in my body environment and in my room. They are moving and they are, it's just not me watching something out there, but it's happening in real time. In some frames, some of our, our little boxes, some people have thoroughly colored, almost like an aquarium. And if you live in a colored room, um, I stick with the color. Yes, the in and the out there, the in and the out there, and the intersection.